So, my name is Jim Clark. I am from the Apprentice Academy. In a sentence, the Apprentice Academy is all about helping businesses and organisations achieve success through young people by helping them to recruit and develop talent. Why I would say we're different is we deliver a whole host of services which sit alongside the apprenticeship which help those employees to get the most from the new recruit. I take my brew, I like a green tea, call me a Buddhist but you know, I like to do stuff a bit different. And it's good for your energy. There's been so many favourite moments because uh, we're helping young people start their careers. The thing that probably is most satisfying is when you see some of the young people come through that you give them a chance and maybe they're just, they need some polishing up and they need some support but they actually turn out and they really turn things around and go on to be great apprentices and have just presented a young lad called Colton with Apprentice of the Month who when he came in he doubted himself and his ability and he's actually gone on to do some brilliant stuff with his employer. So that's the type of stuff that I love. Three companies I would say would be Bruntwood, who have really helped us as we've developed the company. Um, they've given us that flexibility. I would say Online Ventures, who are a digital company in Manchester, who were the first organisation to take on some digital apprentices through us. And uh, they've got four, so they've sort of figured that for our business. And also, I would say pret a because they make great sandwiches and they're still a British company privately owned. Okay, can I have four please? So, I would say the, the, the four most influential people in Manchester, first of all, I've got to say Alex Ferguson. I'm not actually a Manchester United fan, but the work he's done with Manchester United over those years has been phenomenal and he's helped put Manchester on the map, as well as obviously Man City. But I think Man, uh, Alex Ferguson in terms of like developing the talent within. There's Caroline Shaw, who's the Chief Executive of Christie. Um, Scott Fletcher, who is the founder of ANS, and Phil Jones, who's the uh, managing director of Brother UK. And the reason I say those three is they all started as in trainee roles. Um, Caroline was a nurse, Phil was in sales, and Scott was a YTS, and they've all gone on to take really sort of senior roles in those organisations. The three nicest people uh, I've met in Manchester, I've met lots, but I'd say these three probably stand out is. Um, Peter Horlock, who's the Man City cha uh, chaplain, who's such a nice guy. Um, Vic Ashar, who's a, an entrepreneur in Manchester, who runs a business as well as doing so many other sort of events and stuff in Manchester, from film stuff to working with young people. Um, and the other one is Phil Jones from Brother, who gives a lot of his time to help develop people. Okay, the three are passion, because you've got to love what you do. Um, I would say that Personal development, um, I think there's so many great people you can learn out there from. One of my biggest people I love to read about is Steve Jobs. You know, you can learn from leaders of major organisations to help you develop. And also, commitment every day. Gorilla, which is on Whitworth Street. Um, my friend took me down there once for a quick drink after work and I love the place. It, it's, it's really... It's like local food, it's like made with passion, it's really reasonably priced. It's a great place to go and hang out. And also they do music there as well. So the two, two networking events that I attend really are downtown Manchester, and I got hooked up to that with Michael Taylor. Um, and that's a really good event, meet lots of really cool people. And also Talk Manchester, uh, which is more of a local event that I've been to. Um, they hold them sort of just outside Manchester City Centre, and they've been good for meeting people as well. So, uh, and it's all out of the business. It feels like it's after work, and it feels like it's out of Manchester. It's more relaxed.